Well, that was an exercise in futility. Now you can see what not to do. Of course, I have to figure out what I did wrong as well. But I'm still going to try a swipe. I have wiped off everything that was on those boards. And I have a lot of colors down here. And I'm going to put white on and swipe with white and see what happens. Because I have to figure out how to swipe. So here we go for another ride. Oh, my doggies are letting themselves know that they're here. So the first thing we're going to do is put white on the boards. must be a cat in the neighborhood. They love barking at cats. I used to be able to go to my daughter's house, but then she got two cats. And now I can't go because they'll get into a big fight. The white's not covering the wiped off other colors that I had on there um, all the way, but maybe what I do, you won't see that. I think it needs a little bit more. This is certainly a learning curve. If I were to show you some of my other portraits and pieces of art that I've done, you'd probably understand why I'm having such a hard time with this loose type of, of pouring with paints. Uh, maybe in my next video, I'll hang one of the, the ones that I've done behind me and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. I'm still using these two little small boards. Um, I'll be using small boards until I figure out what I'm doing, I guess. So I'm just going to make um, drops of different colors. And then I'll swipe with white and see what happens. Oh, I forgot to tell you what I'm using. This is Artist Loft Deep Turquoise with Floatrol. This was Montmart a Red and mixed with Floetrol. And this is Artist Loft Brilliant Magenta with Floetrol. This is Montmart Fallow Green, also with Floetrol. And this is um, the label smeared. It's something rose with deco art pouring medium. And this is my mica powder with Floetrol. Um, 
and this was that green that I had mixed up. Um, I think I'll drop a few of that in there. this I already told you what it was I had used a lot of it on the uh, the other one I'm just going to put a few drops in there because it's kind of vivid and it's nice and dark it's to add some intensity uh, to this I'll make sure I don't knock it over this time. Here is the white that I mixed up that has some silicone drops in it to use for my swiping. going to try using a piece of cardboard like Kind of don't like all that white up there. I'm going to let it sit for a while and see what it does. Maybe I could add just a little bit of drops here. Also, on this one here, it doesn't look like I damaged it too badly. A little bit of gold. Would help to take the lid off. First lesson, take lids off of bottles. seems to be doing something interesting um, much better than that last thing I tried and so this video isn't too long I'll pick this up and show it to you while it's wet and my next video will show you what I've come up with when it's dry I want to thank everyone who has subscribed. I'm really very appreciative. I can be reached at maxartplace at gmail.com. And I also have a PayPal account with the same name. Um, I'm hoping to get more subscribers. It's a very fascinating journey. And again, thank you very much. I'll see what happens here, but it certainly looks interesting.